Miguel Arati and Devin Miller back here on the CRP. And uh, I don't know what we're going to label this. It's not boxing. It's not MMA. But we are going to talk Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey um, has switched over, obviously, to the wrestling uh, world and has been headlining the WWE's women's uh, events and things like that. And uh, news came down the pike that uh, she will be headlining their signature event, WrestleMania. WrestleMania 35 scheduled for April 7th. And uh, Devin Ronda Rousey, a blast from the past, a name from uh, from the UFC's history. So I wanted to check in with you. What are your thoughts on that? What do you think when you see Ronda Rousey's name? Well, yeah, you got Ronda Rousey, all the news headlines coming out. She's going to headline, be the first uh, all-woman headliner of WrestleMania. And this will be at the MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, as you mentioned, on April 7th. And it'll be a title match between her and Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. And when I uh, – I, I don't really have too many good words to say about Ronda Rousey, but one thing I will say about her is – I do think that she's one of the most unlikable athletes to ever, ever come around. But she plays the heel very well, and whatever she really touches becomes big. I mean, WrestleMania is still – it might be one of the biggest inter- entertainment – top five biggest entertainment events annually. It, WrestleMania, it's really hard to put into words how big WrestleMania is every year. I mean, they pack out, they literally pack football stadiums for, yeah. for this event. And it's so lucrative. The WWE has really never had a, a hurting time in their, in their history. They've, they've been just so consistent. I mean, they're one of the most consistent promotions in the world for the longest time, especially in the, in the form of entertainment. And so for her to be headlining, and it's pretty much single-handedly because of her. I mean, before her, women's wrestling was not getting headlining events on your average wrestling pay-per-view, let alone WrestleMania. So she deserves some credit to that. And she also deserves some credit as an MMA pioneer for bringing women's MMA to the UFC, Dana White just comes right out and says it's because of Rousey that he even gave a chance for women's MMA. So that's about the – I'll give the respect where respect is due, even though Rousey's not my favorite individual, and I've got a lot of criticism about her legacy in MMA. And – just still her as an individual to this day, this sense of entitlement, this over-exaggeration of her worth, just the, the, the arrogance, the, the disrespect she shows to pretty much every all of her fellow colleagues and fellow competitors. And I, I just, there's a lot of things I really just don't care about her for. But regardless, she has been very instrumental in moving women combat two big stages. So she deserves some credit with that. Yeah, and WrestleMania, as you stated, is how, how do you quantify how big WrestleMania is? I remember an uh, uh, interview with uh, uh, Randy Orton, and uh, Orton was talking about being on, on the main stage of WrestleMania, and he, uh, he basically said, you know, uh, holding his hand up, you know, at about chin level, he says, you know, the Super Bowl's right around here. And then he moved his hand up above his head and he said, and WrestleMania's way up here. So they feel it's their Super Bowl or more than their Super Bowl. So, you know, that gives somebody a little bit of an idea of what WrestleMania is. There's a lot that goes on in the wrestling business. So for the wrestling business to give women this opportunity, I think you're right. I think it, 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 it Ronda helped accelerate a process that was there. Um, the other stars that she's in the fight with, uh, Becky Lynch is kind of the, you know, the new name and, and the, uh, uh, I think she's Irish, so she also brings like a, a, an ethnic component with like a lot of fans and stuff. And then the other girl is, is Charlotte Flair, who's 
a second generation star and uh her father is you know literally a living legend you know i love the uh memes that came out around the super bowl about how you know tom brady may have however many super bowls he has but rick flair has 16 world championships you know it's like rick flair is wrestling royalty you know so she's in there um in a situation where she's not favored to win this fight and it's going to be interesting to see how her character adjusts to that if that is how it plays out um yeah i i think uh ron is a person that uh is is uh better playing the heel role i think uh you know she does but everywhere she steps has become a big thing and people follow her so uh you have to give you have to give it some credit but i think uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, you know, if, if, uh, her star is such that they break some wrestling molds and, uh, you know, that they let her win right now, but right now the odds are against. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that, how that even gets decided or what the odds are or anything like that, but just going back to like WrestleMania, probably my favorite WrestleMania moment was, you mentioned Ric Flair, was probably his retirement match with Shawn Michaels. And, when you consider that moment of Shawn Michaels laying in the Sweet Ten music and pinning pinning player to retirement and you know crying on him saying that he loves him and walking out and player standing up getting the standing ovation to probably twenty to thirty thousand people maybe more than that I mean that that kind of entertainment drama. You only find it in pro wrestling, and you really only find it in the WWE. I mean, it really was just an epic thing to watch. I mean, it, it, you don't have to be a huge wrestling fan to appreciate the kind of quality entertainment that they bring you with these with these individuals. Because I mean, they 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 really sacrifice a lot, and people become very used and kind of an emotional bond with these characters. And so WrestleMania has always been the biggest platform for that every year for a long time. So, you know, and you got – so Rousey bringing women to the forefront of this is is a big thing. And she made a tweet where she said, you know, I, I came, I fall, I changed the game. These uh, three women are going to headline WrestleMania this year. I won't hold my breath expecting a thank you, but you're all welcome anyway. I mean, that's just typical Rousey style of tooting her own horn and being sure to get out there on the forefront. You, 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 you mentioned about how people do seem to resonate toward anything Rousey is involved with. I don't, I've never really understood it, but she, she, I really think it's just because she, it is so unlikable to to so many people that that actually makes her a bigger star. Because ever since her strike force days, I couldn't stand the woman. But and I know a lot of people feel the same way. But there were other people that looked at her like a hero. So I don't. I I I, I guess I don't see that angle of her. But I do. One thing I do know is everybody is she is like a magnet for attention, and I will give her that. She she has what Conor McGregor has. She has what uh, other individuals in the past have had that she somehow does just grab it, like just magnetically pull people into being interested in whatever she's doing, and that's, that's pretty impressive that some people just have that, and whatever that is, she has it. And the next time it will be on display is Sunday, April 7th, as WrestleMania hits the Jersey area and the WWE's Network's pay-per-view, Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair at the top of the card. I'm Miguel Dorati. I've been joined by Devin Miller of the CRP to talk a little bit more about Ronda Rousey's WrestleMania main event spot. Okay. <clears throat> Cool. Uh, do you want to do favor anytime soon, or do you feel? Yeah, you know, I'll call you back here. I'm gonna make a phone call real quick, but then I'll call you back. Yeah, give me give me about twenty minutes. All right. Okay. Bye bye.